Thank you, Claire, and thank you for the invitation. I guess um, I, I have a couple of slides, but before the slides, I'll, I'll make uh, two broad points about uh, what inequality means for the post-2015 and, and, and where we are. So, I mean, and, and one thing that I, I, I think Kevin mentioned briefly, but I think uh, we need to, to recognize is that this is a, a very particular moment in the discussion on international development uh, because we are talking about inequality. 15 years ago, this was outside the agenda. No one was allowed to talk about it. When people were talking about it, then, then, then the powers that be would come and say, well, I mean, that doesn't make sense, you know, as long as poverty is falling. We, we should be uh, happy. And uh, we had th those, those internal, internal discussions within the bank, the, the famous World Development Report 2000-2001 that, that was focusing on inequality a bit and then, then they didn't really want it to focus on inequality and they had to change directors in, in between. And, and they had this, mm -hmm. this, uh, this very influential paper, Growth is Good for the Poor, uh, that kind of like settled the debate within the bank um, until that, that the World Development Report in 2006 that Kevin mentioned uh, brought e equity and, and inequality back uh, into into the agenda. So, so this is this is an important point. We are in a moment where inequality I is is taking seriously, and that's why we we I mean, for those who consider that inequality, because I, I agree with Alex, that inequality is uh, is damaging societies, not only the people at the at, at the bottom. Uh, we, I mean, we need to make sure that stays in the agenda, and that's why it's important that, that, that we take it seriously in the post-2015. So the second thing is, is more kind of like a, 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 a trend that we're observing in, in most countries in the world and, and, and in the distribution of income uh, globally is the, the massive concentration of income. If you look at the, at the, at the, the databases collected by uh, Emmanuel Saez and Thomas Piketty, on, on tax returns, which is an alternative source of information that uh, that uh, that uh, gives us some information about what what's happening with with incomes, we can see that that the share of the total income held by by the top one percent or the top ten percent is increasing dramatically in the U.S., in the U.K., in Italy, in Japan, in Sweden. In, in, in most developing countries, uh, and, and then a recent paper by Branko Milanovic so shows the same at the global level. So this is kind of like the, 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 the background. So with, with those two pieces of information, I think we, we have uh, kind of a, an initial uh, motivation to, to, to care about inequality. So one of the, 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 the questions is, why, I mean, why was inequality considered not relevant a few years ago? And I think it was because the narrative was, well, inequality is, 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 is the result of merit. And we shouldn't, we, we shouldn't uh, minimize the, the, the uh, results of effort, entrepreneurship, merit, and the like. So, so that's why we shouldn't really be concerned about inequality, because we, I mean, that's not efficient and things like that. But recent, uh, I mean, recent advances in, in, in our understanding of what's happening shows that, that actually there are two sources of, of, of inequality. You know? And we have to recognize that, that part of that inequality is, is part of merit, is part of effort, is part of uh, individual choices and responsibility. But the second part is, is what, what I call privilege inequality. It's inequality that is transmitted across generations, that is transmitted across uh, uh, certain groups that benefit from, from, from access to power and, and, and certain voice. And the question is, how do we disentangle that? How do we disentangle the, the, the good inequality from the bad inequality, the, the, what I call the merit inequality from the privilege inequality? And that's where uh, I think the Palma makes, makes a, a contribution. Uh, and interestingly, Simon Kuznets, who, who came up with the inverted U hypothesis on inequality, had, uh, had uh, a similar proposal on, uh, as the Palma. So I wonder if you wanna, want to call it the palma Kuznets mm -hmm. ratio. Uh, because it focuses on the distance between the bottom and the top, so so it it, it focuses on on that concentration of power. And uh, so um, I'll uh, I'll go to to the slides uh, to say what I mean. What kind of things 
we're looking at, and I'm, I'm looking at to, to mention, uh, to look at this, this the, to disentangle these two sources of inequality. So Kevin again mentioned that equality of opportunity is at the center of, 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 uh, of human, um, human development, and uh, it should be. When you think about it, uh, most people will disagree with the fact that we should have unequal opportunities at childbirth. You know, no one will say, well, I mean, or, or no one will say publicly, at least. Mm -hmm. I, I feel I'm entitled to more opportunities because I'm a man or because I'm white or because, I mean, that's something that, 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 that the development debate has won over the past 60 years, parts, parts of the achievement of the, the human rights agenda and things like that. But, but when you talk about income inequality, you say, well, but I worked. You know, it's part of my merit. I'm smarter than the rest mm -hmm. and things like that. But then the question is, how much does that actually depend on, on your effort? And then, then it's uh, the, the, the one of the, the, the possible ways of saying this is how much your income depends on your parents' income. And that's, that, that's a conversation of social, social mobility. And I'll show you a graph on that. The other element of, of, uh, that, that relates to, to how inequality is, is bad for society and how it, it, uh, it, um, it reproduces privilege is, well, I mean, if you, if you have some power, what you have to do is to change the rules of the game to reproduce that power. If you, if you have access to, to some wealth and, and, and you're making most of the, the income, you just change the rules of the game so you make sure that that happens. So, so that's called elite capture and, and the capture of the political process. And, and what, uh, what, I mean, the question is, what do we know on, uh, about what, if, whether that's happening or not? So on the first one, on, on social mobility. So this, this graph is called the, the, the Great Gatsby Curve. And there is a movie coming with Leonardo DiCaprio if you don't want to read the, the book. Um, <laughs> And uh, so, so in The Great Gatsby, you know, there's a, a, a quote that says that the rich are different from you and me. Um, Alan Kruger, former uh, advisor to Ob uh, Obama, mentioned, uh, showed this graph, mentioned what, uh, what um, like how important this is for, for, for the American dream in a way. So what, what, what it shows is on the X axis, it shows uh, a measure of inequality, the Gini. Uh, and then on the, on the y-axis, it measures the correlation between your income and your parents' income. So basically, say, in, in Canada, uh, Sweden, Denmark, Japan, Germany, your income is not that highly correlated with your parents' income, which basically means, you know, it, 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 I mean, they're, they're, your, 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 your background is not that relevant for how you do in life. But in, in countries like Peru, Brazil, Chile, Argentina, China, Singapore is much higher. And that's, that's highly correlated with, with inequality. So, so what we're seeing is that, I mean, if you really think that equality of opportunity, that access to, 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 to opportunities and that your efforts should be, should be, uh, should be what, what, what uh, locates you in a given position in society, should be lower, lo lower in the in the I mean internet in the social mobility should be higher, but we see that social mobility is lower where inequality is 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 uh, is, is higher. So so that's one thing. The second thing is this is uh, the composition of Congress in the U.S. the the well part of the composition of Congress in the U.S. Uh, and this goes to the second point. Part of the composition of Congress in the U.S. with the concentration of income. So, so the two graphs, the the black line is the the share of income of the top one percent. The yellow line is the the share of income of the top uh, ten percent. So they they move very closely. You know, they're just displaced. And and that thing that looks like a uh, like a bunch of veins or whatever is the share of Congressmen who vote to the right in, in, in the U.S. from 1976 till 2010. So we can see, and, and the different shades of color, it, it means, you know, they're either center right, right, or far right. So we can see that in recent years, uh, the, the far right is increasing. So that's the Tea Party. And then we can see the correlation between the, the increase in, 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 in congressmen uh, voting to the right and the, the increase in the share of, uh, of, 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 of the top 10% and the top 1%. So, so this is just uh, something to, to open the discussion. This doesn't prove anything. It just uh, some, uh, provides some, some, some food for thought 
but that's uh, that's how I wanted to, to, to kickstart this. Thank you very much indeed. And the challenge, I suppose, is to see whether there's anything that a post-2015 agreement could conceivably do to tweak, nudge some of those politics, um, which is quite a big ask. But uh, let's leave that for the discussion. Nyla. Uh, 